I should be cautious around here. Picked up our trail. Hold on. I need to clear this fort and break this chain to... Picked up our trail. Hold on. this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. <laughs> Picked up our trail. Hold on. With the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Wait your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Roosester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
of our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Of our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. See to it. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on.
picked up our trail. Hold on. in the tower keep. Press forward! Look higher up for a way inside. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Trail. Hold on. Another Saxon goes to his grave. army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tetment. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Ah, what 
Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me. I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates and kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! Or I'll return you to the Saxons with ten fewer fingers. Oh. You there, heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them all they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum? That will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> Rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? <laughs> air. I need... I need air. <laughs> He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man. He cannot be dead. He must not be dead. Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. You fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. The guards here are vigilant. This 
too quiet here. Where are the brothers? Or the abbot's men? I would say well met, brother. But I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real, and their power is within our grasp. Ah! You will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Okay, let's slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. 
And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find Sigurd. It's not just him. Best brace my hood here. Picked up our trail. Hold on. I should wait for Basim. Only death and darkness follow if I go in alone. Give me a hand with this. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Burn this Christ house to. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Slayer. I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Spread out! We have this! Oh. Redder needs handled came in today. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sight? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit would say otherwise. To arms, Basim! So we are to blunder in like an ox. Give me a hand! Give me a hand over here! Picked up our trail. Hold on.
This must be the way to Fulke's sanctum. Pick up our trail. Hold on. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Fulke! I'm here! Face me! Have a care, Aiden. You will play into our hands. The plans to the great fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. Every drop of his blood she spilled. I will take a meat horn. Sick. Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tepman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready.